in case you didn't hear what I said, this is for Jesus, the King of Kings. Let's put our hands together for him one more time. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. You are all going to be privileged this morning to get to hear some of the things that you, you, don't, you wouldn't usually hear. I'm not going to hold for too long uh, the Honorable Dr. Bima in this place and the doctors that have accompanied him and there are very few things that I'm going to say before we can allow them to go. But again, we really want to thank God for having you here today. Uh, His Excellency as Pastor Kofa said, he was here. And he, and he promised us that at some point he would pay us a visit. Uh, and then we have you here today. And um, I heard you say that what you have seen, you will have to go back and I think you will advise him again to come. And, and when he comes, he will promise us that you will also come. And eventually, until both of you decide to stay here. I'm so excited and uh, I've, I've witnessed you take over the pulpit. So, that name indeed was a, was a very powerful name. But I've got some few things that I'm going to say, which, is, which are very important. Um, you highlighted uh, something which is very, very crucial in terms of how far we have managed to stretch ourselves as a country in terms of development and changes that we keep seeing on, on every side we turn. Not much is being said concerning what is happening in this country. We are really behind in terms of marketing and introducing ourselves to the entire globe. You said it very, very well, Honorable. That there is a lot about this country that is yet to be known. But a few things that I would want to say. And obviously, some of the people present here today are hearing this for the very first time. I've been traveling this journey. For quite a long time. By God's grace, being able to hear his mind and his will concerning this nation. Before I talk to you concerning 
the first meeting that I had with His Excellency. I introduced myself to him as a man who he has a lot concerning this country from God. And I told him that you can put my gift to test before you can give me audience. And But in 2015, I had a message uh, for His Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Zimbabwe. And once you have a message from the Lord, concerning his person or the, the, the nation, the country that he's um, leading, there is a set protocol that you have to follow. And I had a meeting with the then head of intelligence with the head of uh, the intelligence. Mukuru, we intelligence. Okay. intelligence. It was just the two of us in that meeting. So I told him of a message that I had received from the Lord concerning the future of, of, this, of this nation. And I told him that I wanted to deliver this message to the head of the state. And I think it is part of their protocol to, to first get to know the reasons why, and especially the content of the message. So I began to explain to him the message that I had. And I said in as much as I'm giving it to you in detail, it will be very important that I deliver the message myself in detail because the detail you will have is not complete until the prophet accompanies his own prophecy to the head of state. But he wanted to know why I needed him to secure a meeting with such a busy man. With such a busy man. So briefly, I told him of what was coming and what was going to become of this nation. And I told him of uh, a situation that we are currently in. And I told him of a certain decision that the president was supposed to make concerning the future of this country and a decision that he is supposed to become a part of and not allow things to happen without his involvement. Because I told the head of security that I was so sure, especially when I see, I see. <coughs> And I told him that there is a man that should come after him. And I gave a description of the man. And I explained the developments that were going to take place. And I said the reason why I would want to see him is because this is what is going to happen. Whether he participates or he, he doesn't participate. So his participation would make him a part of 
that change that is coming. So I explained everything to him. At some point he excused himself. He said, please just for a, a minute. Because he had realized that now as I was getting into details. He went and then he brought his book. And he began to write things. Because I was giving him information. So when we finished talking about what was coming, he wanted me to tell him the men involved in the discussion. Then I said, the only thing that you can tell His Excellency for now so that he can secure that meeting for me. I'm going to give you three days that you need to write down. I'll give you the date, I'll give you the month. And then you go to His Excellency. And you say, this is what the prophet has said. God has given you dreams three times. And then I described the diary. And I said, you tell his excellency to visit the dream that he had on this particular day. And on this particular date. And on this particular date. Three times in a dream. He saw where this nation was going and the person that you are asking me concerning now. So I will not give you the name because the name is in his diary in three pages, three places. If on those dates there is no such dreams, then he should not bother giving me an opportunity. So you might not be aware of what he is writing during the night, but you can go and inquire. Yeah. So to me, that was, the, that was supposed to be the key. Are you following? Because everything that then happened wherever that man is today can testify he has heard every single word that I've, I've said. Then because maybe the president was busy I never got the chance to then explain all this to him. So then what happened, happened. Now let me talk to you about um, my first meeting with uh, the president. Who is the current president of this country. Um, of course, there is a lot that you don't, you don't need to know. But the little things that you need to know, you, like I said, you, it's okay for you to know. I told him that I'm one of the few people in your country here that God talks to concerning the affairs of this nation. Few. So I don't want you to feel like I'm being proud because I'm just telling you. I'm not telling you this. I'm telling you what I told him. It was just. It was just few of us, himself and his son. Because I wanted him also to understand where where I was coming from. Before I could explain to him where this nation was going, I had to explain to him what happened in his generation way before he was born. Until I got to the day 
the president was born. And I told him an event that took place the day he was born. And I explained to him how an elderly man rushed into the house when, when this your president now was being born. And I said the day that you were born as you were crying there is an elderly man that came rushed into the house and he picked you up. Even before the umbilical cord was cut Then words were spoken as you were being held in the hands of that man. Then I, I told him of a very long name which I thought when, as I was delivering that message to him I thought that was the name of the village. I said I said there is this name was this the place where you were born and he said that's not the name it's not the name of the place that's the name of the old man that you are talking about and I said to him for you to know what is happening in the future of this nation. I said to him, how, how is it that I hear the sound of a gun? Then he said to me, I asked my mother and my mother told me that there was a Sekuru who came and he picked you and he took you and he prayed for you. And then he left the house. He carried your umbilical cord. Then he went to the mountain close by and he fired his shotgun. That's the president confirming what I was I said I'm hearing a gun. Then I began to talk to him about the gun salute and so on and we started getting into details. I wanted to understand this. I'm saying this in his presence. Honorable and also His Excellency was here. There is so much that we do not from the pulpit here. So we know where things are going. And I, I cited the prayer I said to His Excellency your mother is you did not get to know the words that were spoken concerning you and concerning your destiny. But I will recite them for you word for word. So his son who was sitting next, he was hearing this history for the first time. And he looked at his father, he said, is this true? He said, everything the prophet is saying is true. I mean, I'm even shocked, my hair is moving right now, I don't even know what to say. Then I said to him, since you are here, you are his secretary, I want you to get a pen and a paper, I want you to write, because, so that you will know the decrees. What was said concerning you the day you were born. 
I cannot talk to you concerning the future if I can't explain to you the day you, you are away, Your Excellency, that I wasn't born as yet the day you were born. So when I tell you, I don't know if you can remember, when was it, I was, I was standing here and I was talking to you concerning renovations that are going to happen, constructions of airports, how many years ago? How many years ago? How many of you can remember National Sports Stadium and I was talking about the discovery of oil in this National Sports Stadium this tawa kuwani kwa kuchaita mafuta munyika ino and I was mocked ndika tukwa and then I was mocked. And I was mocked and I enjoyed the mockery. Because I knew a day was coming. Some of us, we, we, we don't speak the obvious. If I don't see it, I don't say it. If I say it, it's because he has said it. Improvements and developments that we are seeing currently in this country for years there was no activity of that nature for years. Even during the times that some of you people miss. If I am to ask you of one new thing that you can remember of. Then you will begin to realize that this is the truth. Indeed, something is happening. The only thing that we have to address as men of God, we have to work towards the removal of a cloud that hovers over our systems and our government. Unless the cloud is removed, no matter what is done in terms of development, the citizens are all under the influence of that cloud. You can do everything, but there is need for prayers to be raised, for people to recognize change. Hmm. Pardon me, my father. The prophecy concerning the airport, you gave it on the 26th of November, 2017. And these were your words. This airport of yours is too small. We will not stop saying that. What gives us the guts to say this is because we are there where it is. I preach from there. I prophesy from there. 
when I come for any service, I'm coming from the future. So there is no development in this country that is not going to happen according to prophecy. We talked of a new city that is coming. Yes. yes. I don't want to get into that. And this could have our news also. But things, the way things are happening here, we are not just praying for you, Honorable. We are excited. I'm one of the people who is very, very attentive. I'm looking for changes that we saw prophetically. And when I see a fulfillment, of God's word. I talk about it. I talk about it. Had these people not prayed for His Excellency, Honorable, these people that you see here, these people. His Excellency can choose to visit any other church. A prayer for his life was only raised from here. I'm not saying there are no prophets there but concerning him and his life nothing of that sort was seen there. And I came public and I asked the people to pray for him. Even before his life was at risk. So I did not prophesy from prevailing circumstances. Then I described how the attack was coming and how he was going to everything, everything, everything in in detail. and I openly said prayers only prayers can save this man I said only prayers and as we prayed we prayed to God and we know the God that we prayed to. We did not talk to Mbuyaneanda concerning the life of the president. We did not talk to Sekuru Kagui. We we raised our prayers towards the God of the heavens and the earth. Because I was aware of the future of this nation. And it was a risky undertaking for a prophet to come out and you deliver such a message because whoever is coming to attack can still attack you as well but I knew where I was prophesying from I prophesy from the future and 
few days before the president was attacked I came here on a Sunday like this and I told these people that next Sunday we are going to play a video on the screen of a prophecy that I gave you that is going to be fulfilled this week. And it was fulfilled that week before Sunday. And Sunday, we were now playing the prophecy of the attack. So, not only did we prophesy, we knew exactly when the prophecy was going to be fulfilled. So, this government is as a result of prayer. Prayer. If we say we pray for you, we are not lying. We are the kind of people who, if we say we love you, we are saying it earnestly. Some may say it. Some men of God might say that. But they say that for different reasons. Some they say they are supporting you because of the support they want from the government. Some they support you because they are lawbreakers, they want your protection. So I tipari We are not criminals in your country. There are so many people out there who think kuti tino support our rumende ne kuda kwe kuti tino zoda kupi wajume jinone urumende. There are people out there who think we support government because we want favors from government. Dog funga ogono itavamwe. That's the way they think. Isu tino tenda scripture kuti not kurudzira kunamatira no kukuza utunga miriri wenyika. We believe in the scripture. That says we must pray for our leadership and support our leadership. Open your mouth and tell me that these dams which have been constructed where they are before, open your mouth and tell me that a dam is insignificant. And think that there is agriculture with, with no dams. Tell me that you do not survive and live from agriculture. This is not part of development. If you tell me that there is no significant development today, some of you misunderstand they hear what has not been said did I say there is no corruption happening is that what I said why are you good at misinterpreting things corruption in a zero Corruption has certain different levels. Corruption in a zero. It has different levels. Kune zero zoguti pakaweni two pakaweni ten billion. There are certain dimensions that if there is ten billion, it can ten billion iruguno gazira muguago. And the ten billion is set aside to construct roads. Five figaroa. And five is swindled. Five figure Gwagwa. And the other five constructs the road. Corruption, you corruption, as corruption, you yagasia, and corruption. Corruption. Because they have ten billion would have been stolen. You want to tangle up a good at a jigumbu, Chaguti? Your problem is you, you wanted the return to the people. Even if you want to return to the people, 
Corruption is mungoa itangire pa kuno roa kwe ten. Ino na itangire pa kuno toro kuwanikuwa kwa yo kuti. What qualifies you for 10 billion? Corruption does not start on the 10 billion. Kune zimwe nyika zinoko na kuzuisa pa chiero. Where they don't belong just so that they qualify for a grant. Huh? <laughs> Nika ino kuna kunuzisa pa chiero, chokushaya, che urombo, wenyika. A country Kuti can... Kuti iwane rubatsiro. Declare itself poor so that it gets. But can I sing a belong to that level? Ye poverty. Corruption in Gadu Tanga could direct to Botania, Yauru Zotisha, which are corrupt to each year. Kutomboti, Uye, Yawagos, or Chemere, running a pita corruption. Kutubas or Uye, Ruepo. There is corruption in the back. Can you do that? This is in the cheech. What I want you to grasp is this. Regates I can go tender Gano. Have an investigative mind. Ivan Danga Rudz no gona with all Chakuruzo. Musakuru Zire Makua. Don't encourage gossip. Munika is Zimbabwe. Ivan is Sorino Ona Pauno Famba with Ichichino. Changa Chisi Pokari. Have an eye that it was no Chavapo. That this development each day before, but it's now Changa Chisi Pokari. It was no. Be able to appreciate things that are now there, which we are not. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing me clearly. Can you hear me clearly? I'm talking to citizens of Zimbabwe. When our children eventually come later on to lead this country, they are going to struggle with the same mentality. That people are not grateful enough. People are always complaining. What is not there is what they see. But ne wacha so tunga miri la makora no tevera. Whoever will lead the Yesu Wane nge wachi nguwe imbire wanziyo, wachi tukiriri wa ukunyika wachi waka. It will be protest again, uh, after protest yet. Kuzo visa mwe ya huyu makora no tevera ucha neza. To remove this mentality and spirit later on in the future. We'll zishoma ne zishoma. Slowly and slowly. Zimbabwe yeru kusumuka. Zimbabwe is rising. <laughs> Satan achida achida or asingada asingada. Whether the devil likes it or not. Tiliku famba matsimba echiporo fita. We are walking in the steps of the prophetic. Ende kufakusenu kushika maneru ni pakati pe usiku. From the morning till evening. Tika ona waripo pa utunga miriri. Wachi pusha shwa takaratizu kwa na mngari. If we are seeing the current leadership pushing what God revealed. No support wa kushika yo wa shot kwa over wa ruta. We will support it. To the end. No matter your perception. No matter your views. Dayuri wa mporofita seni uchidaro. If you were a prophet like me, you'd be doing the same. The problem is that you don't have a prophecy for this country. In Indian I do have it. <laughs> if I see some supporter, I'll support you. Can you hear me clearly? I'm about to finish explaining. I'm saying this so that you may open up your eyes. Can you hear me clearly? Can I education here nice in a basa? Chichi ne basa. If our children's education is useless, what else is useful? Ndizo. Ndizo ere. That the education of our children is not important, what else is important? 
Imamu ngata za kuporofita pamweya asipa nyama vurayo meso yenyu mchuona oze nyama. You may not be able to prophesy in the spirit but physically open up your eyes. Uporofita akati kumuranda wake enda unotarisa. Uko, uone niche mudenga. Prophet say to his servant, go and look up. Ndogu yenda, ndogu notarisa, ndogu zoka shukanza apana chanda wana shukanzi zokera. He went and said, I'm not seeing anything and he was sent. Ndogu notarisa, ndogu zoka shukanza apana shukanzi zokera. He continued to be sent back to look up in the sky. Nekuti mune dambudziko rokusaona because you have got a problem of not seeing Kuzika hadzo kakati I'm noticing there is a change in the sky Ndirikuona kuti pane shanduko iri kuitika mune Pane kakore kandiri kuona There is a cloud forming Shikanzo wakuona o manjeseni And then he said indeed you are seeing like Vurai maziso Open up your eyes. Kana pai ne zaga naka zirugui itwa iweta ura kusika muenga asotwa. If there is something good happening, say it until the enemy is bored by it. Dragons gui kere. Tanya nya kunyara ara. We have been too quiet about the kind. But the sinus chidi aso mari ba chipindi ra zishoma ne zishoma ne zishoma ne zishoma. Things are developing. Akuna nyika inosumuka nezuware mwechete. There is no country that will rise in one day. Ino gona kuzuare wa nezuware mwechete asa ikuri nezuware mwechete. It can be born in one day but it can't develop one day. There is a prophecy in the Bible a nation shall be born in one day but it doesn't develop, it doesn't mature in one day. Ino bere kwa nezuware mwechete asa ikuri ya hiya ruke nezuware mwechete. Kurukudi wa wano 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 guona kubopa Na wano guona kurima Wano guona kubata gejo People who can engage in agriculture Kuti financial revival mnika munu Itangi kunya sunzi ya kunzi Parukudi ya wako mana wano guona kubata So that the financial revival of this country Can be set in motion Atizi wae wano tenda kuti Denga roga ndora kasikwa na mwari. We are not those people who believe that it's only heaven that was created by God. So we do mwari ndiye msiki we denga ne nyika. Our God is the creator of heaven and earth. Nyika ino tukiriri wane wamwe wa shumiri. A country that is cursed by other preachers. As if mwari pa haka sika nyika hai puta fojka. As if when God created this nation, he was smoking. Sekunge mwari pa haka sika nyika hai sika chino jiri ifu. As if God, when He was creating this earth, He was creating an evil thing. This country is our father's property. Our God's property. We don't preach about heaven only. We also preach about our country's property. Heaven is for Jehovah. But the nations, the earth is for us. We want to be successful and prosperous. Even the right leadership. Ne utunga miri wakaringa. Kano weringa Bible rako kune wamu wasinga weringe wano manyiri rako no taura. If you go and read your Bible. Isaiah 44 na Isaiah 45. Ma chapter ma viri. Isaiah 44 and 45. Two chapters. Kuchiporo fit kwa na Isaiah. Aga taura zemuru me unonzi Cyrus. Isaiah is just prophesying. He talked of a man called. Cyrus anga asinga tue ndi kuchichi. Cyrus wa. Did not go to church at all. Cyrus wangari muedeni. Cyrus was a non-believer. Mu chapter forty-four, mwariwa noti kuna Cyrus. You are my shepherd. You are a shepherd. In chapter forty-four, God. Mu chapter forty-five, mwariwa noti kuna Cyrus. You are my anointed one. Uri wangu wakazotwa. Dima haru yokuwa ora kuna Cyrus. This is God talking to Cyrus. And because I'm holding your hand, this is an unbeliever. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to, to Cyrus. His, to his who? Anointed. To his who? Anointed. Who, who was the anointed? To Cyrus. Cyrus was not a Jew. By borrow fit was 150 years before Cyrus was president. This was 150 years before Cyrus was president. Wa wa Persia of the Persians. Nezi taraka donongorwa. Even the name. Mwariwa chiti dicha raise muno. God saying I'll raise. Acha sunungura rudzirwa ngo wacha buda muna mono kudakwa Cyrus. Who is going to deliver? 
My own, they are going to come out. Zako, zoku funga uti mungari ari bisi kushandi sa ma bisho puchete ne ma prophets unenga une unorwara une udiki we mungari ano shero Cyrus ano shandi zwa na mungari. Even Cyrus was also used by God. Whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him. Read it, read it again. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden. Mm. to subdue nations before him and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him Diana, Diana, a detailed report who from the pages a decree kutiva juda nga wachi buda muuna hapu kwa waende kunyika yao that the Jews must come out of captivity nga asiri mchunga miriri wawa juda he was not the leader of the Jews. God did not use the leader of the Jews. Cyrus said when the Jews are going, give them money, give them food. Give them material to go and build. Darius paka zvirenga and when Darius read this Dokubva anyora akati nenuonda akunyora yangu tsamba inotsinira ya Cyrus he also wrote a letter to Kuti muna nenga aita nharo nokusunungurwa kwava Juda that whoever contracts imba yake ngaiparadzwe iye ngasungiriwe pamatanda emba yake deliverance zvirikuitwa navaheden kuti chechirarame chechibude iende this is being done by non believers so that kana uchiri kufunga kuti mwari vachiri kushanda ku church beds uchakapata wakakotsira mwari vapinda neku politics vari kushandisa ma politician iwo god is also using politicians wake up sit down mungatore nzimbo dzenyu iyo unofunga kuti mwari vakada kuunza change muzimbabwe you think if god wants to bring change in zimbabwe wono taura na mfundi zvari kudamba kuri mwa you will talk to a pastor down the end of the policies are changing. You know, you know, For policies to change, are you made? No matter how much he prays. What you can only ask for God is God, can you please use the Cyrus who are already in positions of influence? Why? Say Neguti, honorable, I but what in the this congregants are afraid of they are afraid of being arrested they pray for you in secret they are afraid of being arrested so the prayers that they are always saying we are praying for our politicians they are afraid of getting into politics Unofunga say iwe kuti sei mwari achizoda kutanga kushandisa iwe achisiya ava vane zvivinda Why would God want to use you and leave these who are daring Hello Muri koere Hello Muri koere Hello Muri koere Ava kana Cyrus vari pana These are the Cyrus who have visited us here today Ah here they are they have come, they have seen Cyrus If you have seen Cyrus once he visits you You maximize when he is in your presence But if God wants His nation to change He doesn't tell you He goes to the houses of non-believers yeah. So that it be well for the yeah. Jews. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, mm. the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus. The Lord what? Stirred up. Whose spirit? The spirit of Cyrus. The Lord. The Lord. Cyrus. Cyrus. The Lord stirred up that's, the spirit of Cyrus. Cyrus. This is the entire message for today. You go home 
with the full knowledge. <laughs> if you want to wait for God to use you as an individual, look, Even you are still struggling. Be wise. When you are praying, you must know how to pray. If you look at me, I look at a person who doesn't know what he's doing. Go and possess the industries that are being talked about. Go and possess the industries that are being talked about. And leave those who are complaining to complain. Whilst you make money. Go and take over industry. Yeah. When you eventually encounter problems, say it out if the police is there. You tell me and I go and tell you that if you continue to do this, we'll give another prophecy. We'll give another prophecy. To rise. Allow people to fend for their families. And Let us go and worship whilst we also work hard. Some of you, your misfortune is that you have been struggling What is happening in this country is not what is also happening out there. God is at work in this country. Can you hear me clearly? Can you hear me clearly? You can take your seats as I wind up. If Jesus was to come this year, not in that year that he came, you would see how he was going to choose his 12 disciples. He was not going to select them from all our churches. Jesus went to the industry. Tax collectors, fishermen, physicians, fishermen and physicians, people who are working. Jesus is not just a religious guy. Jesus is an intellectual guy. Jesus, when, when it comes to politics, you can never surpass him. The Pharisees are scripture, scripture. Who memorize scripture and knew it inside and out. And Jesus said, on my cabinet, I don't want to industry. I want to push a gospel. I want to who are working. These are the ones who can preach the gospel more than people in the church. I've given you a scripture to refer to. Tell me one of the 12 disciples who was known for fasting. One who could preach. And he went to look for people who were working. Because he knows how the thought process of a person who works. If you then introduce him to the gospel, the gospel will spread far and wide. He sent us here to subdue. And to have dominion over the earth. So even though we are kumbira abawuya, so we are kindly asking the delegation that has come that when you go back, tagura inyaya, go without assistance. These people, they don't want poverty. Uh 
<laughs> we want to have surplus food. We go and tell the head of the that we saw a congregation that wants to stay in this country. We want to be prosperous in our country. We want to take care of We don't want to We may do everything else, but we don't want to be in poverty. We don't want to languish in poverty. This is our plea to you. Not for it to be done. The whole country, we are your children. The entire country are your children. Even those who oppose you are also your children. Take care of us. Sustain us. Even you are a so that it's easy for people to work every Waka morning. Waka fara. Wajizoka kuzimba waka fara. And go back home, a happy people. Kushaya mari chive chinu chekare. Tirara me munyika yedu tichifara. That lacking of money be a thing. Tasekwa ne zimwe nyika kwa makore. Other countries laugh at us. But yakwa na time yudu tiba sekeo. But it's also our time to laugh at them now. Everything that you have prepared us, airport. The roads and the airports. It's a prophecy that it's now their time to come to our nation. It is now their time to visit our nation. You Zimbabwe. If those from other countries come, staying in our country. Be hospitable so that the blessing stays. Don't kill those who are visiting. Be hospitable to those who are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are gravitating. Zimbabwe are not a small nation at all. They are coming to our country. That I said they are coming to Zimbabwe. You know, most of the people would say there are no people. People are coming to retire in Zimbabwe. Spruce up your homes. We are happy. Nekuti tiruku zewa kuti munotombori ona koka noti jikopa moyo. Because you have that feeling on your heart. Munotori na koka noti mboti jikopa moyo. Kuti jawani kwa ziruku isi kwa pabasa. Riruku one kwa u. Whatever you are getting. Tanga tanzu kwa neta ona. Is being channeled to work that you can see. Ah. Amai we. My way, my way. Kubango fili na kutenga moto zee mazuano. Even if you buy the latest cars, zino zino fili na kazi chona mitaro ye mungwa kwa ye. Zimu zinu vasa vunda zimu vasa tika na wakuda kubuda wakukotsa ina kichuku zauti muka zokera muzira nchi. Muno muna kusinga ite zee 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 zee. Apa na chayo ne kwa nengo ruku drive msangu. You be like you're driving. Go from Magari mo. In the jungle, it's a dark place. Markings on the roads. The latest technology. The latest technology. The latest technology. The latest cars can tell you. You know the same. Guagua gazero. I don't know now. Such a wadi. Ne one day re. Someone ignores the developments that are there. In the far, she digi chanda on amunia rari zendendi na. The slightest development that I see, I'll talk about it. Drugs giga re. So I want to pray for our leadership. Who are currently there? 
Because they are quite brave. Is that hey, not hey. so? Let's not pray for churches. Is that because not so? Because that's where cowards are going. Let's pray for our political leadership. This is it. So that they are stayed by the Spirit of God. If we cry out, they must receive until you settle our matters. So we are sending such kind of prayers. Wherever you'll be meeting, we raise it. May that be ignored. We want you to focus on our supplications so that our families live well. I'm so happy today because we have our leadership here today. I don't know how they're going to package this message and present it and you say the family said be stead by the spirit of the Lord may your hearts be stead this is our prayer today may the Lord stay there until Zimbabwe is Zishoma slowly but surely when those who are complaining that oh Lord stay oh Lord stay stay there so that it yes, will be and our children we want us. to pray for our government today we, we have their representatives here today want to pray for you if you encounter difficulties and you want to hear from God I raised my hand to the head of the state and I said Pre President don't believe that I am a prophet if you don't give me any ask me about hidden things ask me what is happening in the next two weeks ask me about two months from now ask me anything let them the prophets are not many just give us an examination Is that not so? This way. How many years have I been in this place? How many years did I how, how many times have oh, I gone out? Can I stand up with Holidia? I don't know. If she is to go to holiday, she's going with our children. If you ask her, when did I last go on holiday with my family? I don't even know when I last left this country. I'll sponsor her. Let my children have a good time with my wife. Why should she be crucified? She's not Jesus. And, and I remain back home. She knows. We have got a work to do that makes us stay behind. We know the, the table. We know the desk that we sit on. In this country. It needs serious monitoring in the spirit, this country. So nothing will befall us before we know. It's not possible. It can't just happen without us knowing. 
It can't happen. It's not possible at all. It's impossible. The Lord will have foretold us. Would, will have already told people way back if I'm not a prophet doing this, who am I? So, we are going to And we'll show you another place with a bigger deposit than the one that you are focusing on. He said, I'll, I'll go and show you the exact places to go and frack. I can show you. <laughs> this is the wealth of the nation. The nation is wealthy and even its citizens too are wealthy. This you go first. I don't want people who manipulate my prophecies. You lead the way. Go home, all these people who are here believing me. If you hear me saying it the way I'm saying, I'm speaking to people who are not here. <laughs> you know what they are doing? These are your people that you're leading. Where are these people? If you are saying it we are not, this way, we are not having these people coming here for the sake of our protection. We are wearing a Bible. It's actually the prophet who takes care of the political leadership. It's evident in the prophet would say it's happening on this day and let's pray for the life so of our president. So so he loves us more than the way we do. If we are not involved, this country will We are there together. I will also be there in that country. In the spirit. When you're feasting, please. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Let's clap hands for Jesus. We want to pray. We ask God to give us wisdom in our country. So that we be restored to a level that we never be. Zimbabwe. Until Zimbabwe is helping other countries to rise. Until Zimbabwe is helping other countries to rise. God has raised me so that I give prophecies over this nation. And everything that I'm seeing happening now is a fulfillment of prophecies that came years ago.
Waifanira kuzivunza mvunzo kuti ma airport anowedzerwa kuti chicha zouya. You were supposed to ask yourself this question why expanding our airport what there is coming? There was quietness in those days. Kwange kusina chenge chiri kumazivao. There was dead silence in those days. Kwange kusina kana inzwi mazuva iwa. Development from where? For what reason? Udirino ichibva kupi? Very soon cities are coming up. Asi mchingo wachinotevera makuta. Vana vako iwe. Your children. They are not going to die without a place they to stay. They will save. not be homeless in this country. More opportunities are going to open. Come out of the group. Who criticize look for opportunities and exploit them i want you to lift your voice wherever you are and pray for our that all god send and stir them up so that there is improvement and development in this nation i want to hear voices all over this place Na matira nyika, na matira urumende, wherever you are. <laughs> Jesus name Let's put our hands together for the Lord And one more time I want you to help me appreciate Honorable and the doctors that have accompanied him I want you to help me appreciate them and celebrate them as we put our hands together one more time and we allow them to leave. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Keep on celebrating them. 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 It is good that we celebrate them. It is good we celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Keep celebrating. Keep celebrating. Keep celebrating. Keep celebrating.